So today we're going to talk about testing your knowledge and testing your skills of coffee by a method called triangulation. All right, triangulation is exactly what you understand. Triangle, so three coffees, three cups basically, and out of that one cup is going to be different. Now it sounds very easy, but it's not. So triangulation is also a part of coffee Q grading examination, and also it should and must, and as a compulsion should be a part of every coffee program, be it as a cafe, be it as a roaster, be it as a trainer, be it as a Q grader, whatever. So whoever is listening to this, make sure triangulation becomes a part of it and make sure you put it on social media, let more people watch it, let more people understand that this is very important because this is missed out a lot. Let me explain a little bit further what triangulation does. So we are going to have this video done under like some glimpses of it would be under a red lit room which is not exactly not exactly which is under this side kind of setting so this is exactly how Q grading also happens and this is under a vision that you can't really see how the coffee is that's the entire purpose of this coffee but because Sarang wants we'll switch on the lights right now now in the previous videos, link here and here or here and here, you would find me talking about how you develop a vocabulary in coffee, how you develop a dictionary in coffee, how you develop a memory bank in coffee because it's important for you to taste it. So I'll talk a little bit about it but the entire video you can watch it there. So you can just taste a little bit and then you have to put that in paper. So basically your tongue and your mind should have a connection and for that connection you need a wide range of vocabulary to pick the words and nuances and tasting notes and everything from that but in triangulation what we are basically testing is we are not hunting for words we are not looking out for description or anything but the entire focus of uh, triangulation is to you know like when you start triangulating when you want to find the odd one out you essentially try to find out on the basis of a different body, different acidity, different nuances, small, slight, subtle change in your palate. That is how triangulation basically would work out, all right? So for example, I've got three cups in front of me. What I usually do is, I take just two coffees. I'll also help you set up. So what I do is, I do a triangulation of six coffees, six sets, A, B, C, D, E, F. Each set will have three cups. So let's say I've got one, two, and three. What I do is, if I've got A coffee, A coffee, and A coffee, I will spike just any one of them with another coffee, B coffee, all right? I would not make it A coffee, B coffee, and A coffee. I would not do that because that's a world of a difference. You're basically doing oranges, oranges, and mango. That's easy. So to test the palate even better, what you do is take A coffee, A coffee, A coffee, spike a little bit by B coffee, or you can take B coffee, B coffee, B coffee, and spike any one of those with A coffee. That is exactly how you do a triangulation. That's about it. So this is the, one of the most, most testing exercises and that tires your mind after a point of time. My few tips before you start triangulating. One, make sure you haven't brushed your teeth just an hour before. Make sure you do that because you won't be able to experience anything. Try to use, if you brush your teeth, try to use a non-menthol toothpaste. Uh, second would be be hydrated and make sure you don't eat anything before one hour of the triangulation, all right? So let's say you go to a championship and you don't know when your round is. Make sure you're just having a neutral flavored, maybe apple, not, it's not a neutral flavor, but if you, which does not have a lingering taste like garlic and all, just have apple, a banana, keep yourself hydrated, don't drink too much of water, uh, don't drink cold water or hot water, drink room temperature water. Apart from that, once you are on the table and when, when the lights are off, do not, do not, do not try to look at it and see what is different. Don't. Visuals are not what you want to do. What I would do is, I'll stand in front of the cups and start to sip, sip, sip and move out. And then kind of experience how it is. I would not go sip, 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 sip. I wouldn't confuse myself. Take this as an advice, as a law or a thumb rule for the first time probably I'll say 99% of the times your first instinct will be correct. Alright, so let's say you are not getting one of the cups right. What you essentially would do is you'll go, 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 you'll start confusing yourself. You must have marked that I think this is the one which is odd. But then you go and you start confusing and you at the end moment you start writing down that this is the odd one out. More often than not, when the results are announced, 
this is the cup that was hot all right so take this as an advice do not second guess yourself at all at all if you think this is there that's about it you get 45 minutes to do this you get it done in like 20 minutes straight you don't have to consume entire 45 minutes because you're not going to be any productive further boom 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 write it down this is if you're not sure if you're not sure hold on to it all right just mark which you think it is take a round back then if you want to come back then you do it but don't go hunting like crazy all right and also have some respect for others also once you are done please step away give them space and start writing down i have met and seen and nudged a lot of people not just in india but outside also that please move because they are just hogging the entire table you don't want that to happen and you don't want to be the person if somebody is doing it please tell them politely because you can't really talk and being rude is no point so you just sip 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 and step out right and people will start learning from you so it is very important that you all become a role model for anybody who is coming along with you be a good example right these are very important points all right you may not realize it right now but these are very important points also please respect the others in another another form is don't sip and put your spoon in this again sip clean tap sip clean tap sip clean tap don't be a asshole don't be an asshole who is just sipping 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 and contaminating all the cups you don't want to be that person there was an incident that had happened in the queue greeting itself where our cups did get contaminated and they said that we'll have to redo this set that was an unfortunate incident because this guy was just being a jerk over there let's just be very cordial and be good and supportive with everybody to give them their own space you take your own space give them their own time another thing now coming back to a little bit technical about the triangulation how it helps you triangulation will always challenge you challenge your palate all right it is always and always and always challenge your palate you will start when you start observing and also don't don't set it up for yourself you can literally tell anybody at home random friend a walking a passer walking by stop him and tell him like can you just spike one of the coffees people will be happy to do that so don't set it up yourself ask somebody to set up and when i want to triangulate sometimes how i do is i do four cups i don't do three cups i do four cups i can do like couple of them whatever but i can literally sign behind the bar add and i'll tell somebody can you just put some coffee or do it for me blind and the, then i'll start tasting it when you are triangulating the zone that you go into please kind of remember that and put it as a an anchoring point because that zone is very critical and important and it will help you grow in grow more grow you better in tasting coffee that's about it let's begin